Hi everyone. For this question, it say let x minus ln x plus 2 equals 0. Use Newton Russell method to find the positive roots of the equation, giving your answer correct to three decimal place. So first of all, we're using algebraic method to guess what is the positive roots. So for the first step, we're going to form out our function. As our equation here already equals to 0, therefore our function will be equals to x minus ln x plus 2. So directly equals to 0 means we can let it to be a function. Then we guess our roots first to find out the interval, a positive roots in the interval. We try to substitute 1 and we check alpha x minus ln alpha x plus 2. Calculate for value of 1. So it gives us a negative. Alright, give the answer in three significant figures. So negative means it is less than zero. We try to guess for value of two. So calculate for value of two and we get a positive one. So we can see since F1 is negative, and F2 is positive, they're having a opposite sign. Therefore, this function fx has at least one real root, one positive root, in between the value of 1 and 2. Then we can find out what is our roots. So our initial value, we can take 1.5 since we know that we have a roots between 1 and 2. So initial x, we take 1.5 in the middle of this interval. Then by using newton Russell method, we need differential function so differentiate x we get one differentiate log take the function inside the log and then differentiate it in above so differentiate x we get one then we start finding our x1 so newton Russell method formula will be xn plus one equals to xn minus fxn over f prime xn so therefore here for the first value that we can find here will be 1.5 minus the function with the value of 1.5. So write out this step clearly and differential function with the value of x 1.5. Then we key in our formula, we key in alpha x minus the function is alpha x minus ln alpha x plus 2 denominator differential function 1 minus rational 1 over alpha x plus 2 so we start calculate with the initial value 1.5 here we have our first iteration answer, which is 1.15. Correct the final answer to three decimal place. So our working, we will add once one or two, maximum two. So here I will take maximum two will be eight, seven. So to find the next x, we are going to substitute our answer from x1 and repeat the formula of Newton lesson. So calculate 1.15387. Here we have 
here it gives us 1.1416 one nine become two zero then we repeat until we get the same value of x so calculate 1.14620 so 1.146, so 19, so haven't repeat yet, we continue, calculate 1.14619. So the fourth interaction answer gives us 1.14619. So this 2x is repeated. Here we can conclude out the answer of x. We correct to three decimal place, which is 1.146. Alright, so that's all for this question.